up? It's Coach Mickey and I am here with you today on YouTube to talk about my tips on how you don't need to quit as a small time YouTuber. I know how frustrating it can get. You want more views, you want more subscribers, you want tons of comments, you want to have that YouTube legitimacy and you've worked months and months and months and you're still at the barrel. Well, here are my tips that help me get through it. Tip number one, what is your YouTube goal? Like what is the whole purpose of why you're even doing YouTube in the first place? Mine, for my own personal self, it is all about memory capturing and documenting my family's history. And my family runs a dance studio together. And uh, so you will see daily vlogs in my personal family life, but then you'll also see um, vlogs that have to pertain to the dancers and our dance studio life as a family. So that was our purpose and our goal, and it still has been from day one. And I think that's part of the success that we have with our YouTube channel. Um, if you think YouTube is all about being famous, then Sorry, Charlie, you ain't gonna happen. Okay, tip number two. Setting your subscriber bar low, okay? That is the first thing you have to know as being a small YouTuber. Do not expect and shoot for the moon and think that in a month's time, you're gonna have 10,000 subscribers because it just doesn't happen. Um, if it does, it's a fluke or you purchased your subscribers, which is not a nice thing to do. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you set your goals simple and keep that bar low enough to where once you've accomplished those goals, you're pretty stoked about it. So our first goal was to hit 500 subscribers within a year. We did that in four months. And then um, we hit 1,000 subscribers literally like a month before our first year anniversaries. Our next goal was to, before we hit October of 2017, that we wanted to be hitting 2,000 subscribers. Well, it's now June and we hit 2,000 subscribers about two days ago. So I'm super stoked. We are way ahead of the game as compared to last year. And uh, who knows where we're gonna be after we go to CVX Live. Tip number three, and this one is the most important tip that I have to provide for you. Stop being obsessed with other YouTubers. Now, what I'm trying to explain by that is, yes, be fans of other YouTubers. Being a fan is totally different than being obsessed. Um, number one, when you are obsessed with a fellow YouTuber, you tend to want to become them. So then your vlogs are not natural to who you are. They start being like a carbon copy of something that you like to watch all the time. Number two, um, it makes you really frustrated when you're not hitting those goals that that other YouTuber may have hit in the time frame that they hit them. So when you are obsessed with other YouTubers and wanting to be like them, um, you tend to put yourself in a um, situation where you feel like a failure. And you do not want to do that while you're trying to do something creative like this. So those are my three tips. I hope they helped you. They definitely have helped me. Um, and also just keep researching as a small time YouTuber and make friends with other fellow YouTube creators. If, last but not least, have fun. That's the whole point of why you're even doing this in the first place. Go back, watch your vlogs, see what you can do to make the next one even better. And don't stop vlogging. Don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing and uh, keep sharing what you're sharing and find really awesome Facebook group pages like we have here on YouTube, Family Friendly Vloggers. It's an amazing group where you can share your ideas, show your videos, and I've made some awesome friends on here already. So I hope those tips help and I hope that helps you to keep vlogging and get some.
all right i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out